I am here with former Eurovision winner Mons Helmeler. Hello. So Mons, you are here of course because you won Eurovision back in 2015. But I also want to say you also hosted Eurovision last time it was in Sweden. Can I ask if you've been approached by SVT to play a part in next year's Eurovision? You definitely can ask. Uh, I haven't been approached by SVT and I don't think it's going to be me actually. I think that uh, Swedish television wants, uh, wants to do something completely new because I think 2016 was a very, very good uh, Eurovision and I think, at least for me, it would feel quite hard to top that uh, from my own perspective. Uh, and so I think they're going to want to surprise. But you are a local from southern Sweden, you are from, from Lund, 20 kilometers from Malmö. What, how, how does it feel to have your vision kind of in your own backyard? It's so nice and Malmö did such a good job in 2013, so I'm sure that Malmö will be amazing this year as well. You have, of course, been involved in, in Eurovision in, in several ways over the years. How did Eurovision change your life? Oh, so much. I mean, I've always been a Eurovision fan, as everyone knows. Uh, but, um, yeah, and just being a part of it has, has meant so much to me. And then winning it made so many dreams come true, like doing European tours, playing to new audiences everywhere. Uh, it's, it's really changed things. And... And now, like nine years after, I can still come back to a show like this and open the show. It's, that means a lot. Now that you've ruled yourself out as being a host, do you have any advice for future hosts in next year? Uh, no, I don't really. I think that, like, just, just have fun. Show, show the audience how much you love the contest while still making fun of the contest a little bit uh, with, uh, with charm. So be shirtless and make a song, especially for the interval act. Is that what I'm hearing? That's pretty much it. You got it. Okay, good advice from Eurovision winner Monsel Meloev. We will see you tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.